Hi everyone, this is uh, Cisco Fauli and today I'm going to talk about how to write your first test for LibreOffice. I hope everyone is safe and doing okay. And yeah, let's get started. Uh, so a little bit about me. Uh, yeah, mm, I've been working for the Document Foundation for the last four years as a QA engineer and I find uh, unit tests are really important and a crucial part of, of the project and yeah, of any project uh, in general. Uh, so yeah, the motivation for this talk, uh, I extracted this from a talk uh, Kohei gave in a conference. So Kohei uh, was a Calc developer and he was talking about uh, a refactor he did in Calc and then he ended the, the talk saying that, well, yeah, a bug, a bug fix with our unit test will get broken again in the future and then a bug fix with a unit test will remain fixed forever. So the question is, uh, which one would you choose? Uh, and the answer is it's obvious. Uh, we should always go for for writing a, a, unit, a unit test when possible. Uh, so yeah, uh, regarding this talk, I'm going to talk about two main topics. The, the first one is uh, how to write your unit test in Python, which are mainly used for testing the UI and how to write your test in CPP unit test, uh, which are, and, and I'm going to explain it, how to use it for uh, testing the import and export of uh, different formats, how to use a set XPath for, test, for testing uh, XML, and then how to test the layout of a document. Uh, so yeah, the prerequisites for someone who is interested in writing a, a first a unit test, well, obviously you need the LibreOffice source code, download it in your computer. Uh, then you also need some knowledge in, in Python and C++. Uh, some like b basic knowledge should be enough. Uh, and the same goes for Git. Uh, yeah, we, did, we use Git as a version control. So uh, yeah, then you need uh, some basic knowledge to get along. Uh, and yeah, you also need uh, an account in Garrett, uh, which is the platform we use to review patches. So if uh, you write your unit test, then you submit it to Garrett and someone else will review it. And last but not least, you need desire to learn. And I can tell you that if you write unit tests, you're gonna learn a lot. Uh, yeah, and a disclaimer about this talk, uh, I'm going to uh, focus mainly on uh, writer test, uh, although if you want to write unit tests for other modules like Calc or Impress, uh, the same principles apply, uh, the, it should then be much different, but yeah, this talk is about writer mainly. Uh, so let's uh, start with uh, Python UI testing. So some information about it. It was uh, written or implemented by Marcus Mohan for five years ago, and it inherits from the unit test dot test case uh, framework, which is the one and the standard in in, in Python. So uh, anything that you use in that framework, you can use it in the UI testing framework. So let's say any asset you you have it in, 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 in that framework, you can use it in the UI testing framework. And as the name says, uh, well, it's only, it's, it's, it's mainly used to, uh, for testing the UI. At the moment, we have uh, 600 existing tests and in, in Writer, they are under SWQA UI test. So let me show you. So I have my LibreOffice uh, source built here. Uh, so in SW, in, in QA, we have a, a, everything related to QA and then in this, uh, in, in the child directory UI test, we have anything, everything related to UI testing. And the same goes if you, instead of SW, which is writer, you, you change it to SC, which is a calc, you have the same, and the same for impress. Well, there are not many, but yeah. Uh, so one disadvantage, disadvantage of uh, the Python UI testing is that they run slower than CPP unit tests. So when possible, it's always desirable to use CPP unit tests. 
and another disadvantage is, is that it only runs on Linux. So if you want to, uh, or either if you work on Windows or if you want to implement a, a, a test for a, a, a bug that is only happening in uh, on Windows, a, a UI bug, then you cannot do it. Uh, yeah. And then if you have, or if you want more information, more detailed information about UI test, everything is, is in this URL. So yeah, let's write our first uh, UI test. Let me check if, yeah, everything is recording and the time, five minutes. Okay, fine. So uh, first of all, and I'm going to write a, a unit test, a UI test for you. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, from scratch. So before we uh, write anything, we are going to call or execute LibreOffice with this uh, variable here, which is going to allow is, is going to allow us to record everything we do in the UI. So basically what we are saying is that, okay, I want to collect all the UI information in this document. So let me show you real quick. So now I'm executing LibreOffice with that variable. I close the navigator. So let's say I want to insert a table and now I change something here. So I click on this uh, text box and then I say, Control A, I delete this and I use a new name, which is my table. And then I insert it and I have a table here. So finally I close LibreOffice and now I have everything locked here. So let me copy this. So yeah, basically, uh, yeah, what we are doing. So I close the navigator here, so we can. We are not going to use this. Uh, so basically, what I did was to insert a table, then the a document open, uh, a, a dialog open. Um, then I type in the element name edit. I, I type Control A, then backspace, and then I I wrote my my table. Finally, I click on OK in the insert table dialog, and then I have the I created the table, and yeah, I close LibreOffice. So once we have this log, we can translate it, this into code, into Python code. And for that, I already have this uh, test created uh, because. I don't have much time for this uh, talk, so I'm gonna uh, explain you every step, and yeah, you're gonna see it's really simple. So basically, I, I have a class which I can name it with uh, any name I want. I call it Fostem, uh, and then it inherits from UI test case, and then I have the function which. Uh, uh, must uh, start with a uh, test underscore and then the name of uh, the function. So in this case, I, I, I call it insert table, but I could call whatever I want. Uh, and yeah, then we start the test by uh, creating a doc in a star center. So in this case, I'm, we are creating a writer doc, but I could also say instead of writer, I can call it calc, calc or impress or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we already have a writer document created and now what we are going to do is to uh, execute a dialog through command, which is the insert table, which is this one here. So we execute that Uno command and we open the dialog. And once we open the dialog, we use this uh, function to, to get the, the top focus windows, which is uh, at the moment the insert table. 
and we put it in this variable which is x dialog now uh, what's next we use control a and then backspace and then we write my table so for that I can I get the the element which is uh, name edit so I can say okay x dialog get child name edit I put it in this variable and then I execute the action which is type we see here type and then key code control a backspace my table so at this point we already have we, we change the text box which was uh, first it was table one and we changed it to my table so once we we done with that we click on the ok uh, element uh, and finally we close the di dialog with this uh, element uh, so now we are back to the document uh, so we can get the document and analyze it so we use this get component to get the document and finally we can assert that the document has indeed one table which is uh, here and then we can assert the table the first table uh, the name of it it's uh, my table so let me execute this uh, this test and for that we have this little script which you can find here in this URL uh, so basically you just have to tweak it a little bit to point to your own LibreOffice uh, build so and then change the the file parameter uh, so in this case the name of my test is test1 so if we execute this one we can see that now it launches LibreOffice it opens right there it opens the dialog and then it, it change it change the name and then it uh, inserts the table uh, that's really quick so for that we can use some time some time slip for instance we open the dialog here then we change the name of the uh, table and finally we insert it in the document so now if we execute it again now it pauses a little bit it changed the name now we insert the table and finally it closed uh, LibreOffice so that's how uh, UI testing UI test uh, are written it's pretty straightforward uh, and we can for instance once we open the dialog we can say okay print which is here some useful prints uh, when working with UI test so for instance if if I want to see the children of the dialog I can use X dialog uh, get children so if I execute it again Yeah, it's time. Oh, yeah, here. But yeah, I see all these elements in the dialog. So we have, for instance, the OK button, Help button, the warning, name edit. So this has these are all the elements in the dialog so then we can use uh, yeah if we want to change for instance the the name the number of rows we can use this one here so yeah you just need to uh, check with which one you need to use and use that one uh, so another interesting print that we can use it's uh, 
So once we have the child, we can use get state as dictionary. Let's name it. it. So now we can see all the states of a of, of an element. So here this is the uh, name edit element. So for instance we see the ID, but then we see that it's visible. We see the text uh, of it, which is uh, the property text, which is table one. At the moment nothing is selected. Uh, so yeah, for instance, we can use it in, like like in here. We before we change the name and we change the text box and we write anything, we can uh, assert that the by default the the text is table one. And finally, another imp interesting. Uh, print is to use uh, dir in a document and the text tables let's get the first one so if I execute again now we see that doo -doo -doo lot of information so we have all these properties in a document so we can get the auto styles or word count or whatever we want to to get text frames text fields we can use it to get anything in a document and here we see the properties of a table so anchor text wrap whatever we want to use so this is the way which we we check the the properties of a, of a document while, while we are uh, writing UI test so yeah 17 minutes uh, so yeah let's move on now we are going to to see how to write a CPP unit test so in writer they are under this uh, folder uh, and yeah we for instance for ODT we use it SWQA extras ODF import and yeah the layout so it's very once you are in SWQA extras you can see by the name of the folder what the, the, the test in, 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 in those folders are about at the moment we have uh, around 3000 existing tests uh, you have a lot of uh, detailed information in the readme and also in this uh, url so the way because uh, for the ui test you can run the, the the test and visualize what's going on uh, in here you can't uh, so you you have to well you can uh, use the make of the mod module so for instance if you are writing a test in OOXML export 16 then you can use this command here or if and this will uh, run all the tests in that module and then if you want to run a particular test you can use uh, you can uh, indicate the name of the test like this one here and then the name of the module uh, so yeah, for import and export, we have three kinds of uh, CPP unit tests. We have the import test that uh, loads the specific file to a MX uh, component, which represents the UNO model of the document. Then we have the export test, export test, which uh, basically do the same than, uh, same as the import test, but uh, they first import the document, then they export the document, and then they drain re-import the document again and finally we have the export only test which uh, only export the document uh, yeah so let me show you real quick how to uh, write a uni uh, cpp unit test for import and export 
So let's say I have a new document and I want to test, for instance, that uh, when we export this document to, let's say, docx, the text is still for them. So uh, I have this for them ODT. And for instance, I can insert an image. Uh, so now um, I want to write it. Uh, this is going to, I'm going to test that uh, it's an export test. So I'm going to extras and I'm exporting this to um, docx. So XML export and then here we have all the modules too so I'm going to use export 16 which is the last one so I can copy this one for instance paste it here and now I say the name of the test is going to be uh, them and then the name of the document is first them ODT. So I want to check that there is one shape in the document, for instance. So I can say get shapes, the number of shapes is one, and I want to test that the first paragraph is it's first them. So for that, I can, and the pages, for example, one page, there's one page in the document, and also the first paragraph, it's FOSDEM. So for that, for that, I can say it's FOSDEM, and here I get paragraph one, and then get a string. I delete this and now I'm going to execute this test for them so let's change it so it's going to fail let's I hope it works <laughs> 23 minutes uh, and it's taking it takes a while and yeah now it's uh, my computer is not super fast so yeah and it fails because uh, 43 oh yeah I didn't the document I created I didn't put it extras o XML export data and it's called FOSDEM so now if I execute it again sorry I had I had a previous uh, document with our an image that's why it's failing here so it's expecting one shape or one image and it did then uh, work because there are zero in my previous document if I execute it again uh, now yeah it says it's expecting first them uh, it's expecting x first them and the 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 paragraph it's first them so uh i should if i change this here then it should pass but yeah let's move on because uh i have 20 i have five minutes left or or less um and yeah uh for the asset x path um 
So here we are using CPP unit test asset equal. Um, if I asset x x path. Okay, let me show you another asset x. So here what we are doing it's a uh, uh, okay I'm importing this document then I exporting it so in this case I am exporting only so this is an only export uh, test and then I parse the export I I put it in this variable and then I, I parse the 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 variable and this is how the XML looks like and this is what I'm I'm asserting uh, so how to get this? Uh, so one one way of doing that. So let's say I have a document. So I'm gonna choose this one for them. And now I change this, and I say uh, let's change the anchor. Uh, whatever I change it to force them force them with uh, bold letters and I change it to force them to oddity so now I can use one tool you have some of the tools to analyze in the documents here so one of them is odif. So this tools uh, al al this tool allows allows me to div the two documents. So I'm going to test the first document without the 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 bold letters and the second with the bold letters. So yeah, this is information about uh, the generator and. Here, Papa. Yeah, there is one image and another that is not there. Another document without an image. But yeah, with that, I see here, for instance, that in one document we have that yeah, this is a text style. We have a uh, force them, and in the other one we don't have it, and we also we don't have the image. So then we can use this XML uh, to parse, which is uh, an, an asset that, for instance, the document is there. So this is one way to uh, use uh, XML parsing. And finally, if we want to, um, yeah, so, so if we want to uh, test the layout, we have this So, okay, now, so now I have this document here, which I can open, and now I have the uh, layout as an XML document. And um, yeah, that's 30 minutes. Uh, and then you can also assert its path the, the document. So some useful information, uh, if you want to write your first test today, you can have it, uh, you have a list of uh, missing uh, Python UI tests here, and the same for the CPP unit test here. And uh, thank you for, for watching, and hope you write your first unit test. You, you're not going to regret. Bye-bye.